Welcome to one of the topic videos in a series I'm producing for certification prep for the Snowflake SnowPro Core exam. My name is Joyce Avila and I earned my SnowPro Core certification in April 2020. If you haven't yet watched my introduction video, I urge you to watch it first. In this video, I'm going to talk briefly about data sharing, a topic for which there were several questions on the certification exam. Data sharing allows Snowflake account-to-count -account sharing of data, as well as sharing of data with groups that do not yet have a Snowflake account. The views and user-defined functions must be secure. And an important point to remember is that data sharing is metadata only. So provider accounts are the only accounts to incur the cost of storage. Provider accounts also incur the cost of compute for reader accounts. The reader accounts have no Snowflake account and thus incur no costs. The consumer accounts, which must be in the same Snowflake region as the provider account in order to have access to the data share as a consumer, incur the cost of compute but not the cost of storage because data sharing is metadata only. In order to share multiple databases, the provider account will have to create different shares for each database or, alternatively, can provide a secure view. Again, remember that the view must be secure. The account admin role must be used to create and administer access to data shares, which includes setting up and managing reader accounts. The data set can be shared with an unlimited number of accounts, but a share can contain only one database. So as previously discussed, multiple shares can be created or a secure view can be created in order to share data from multiple databases. Access to the data is granted using the same role-based access control that Snowflake provides for all objects in the system. A mapping table is used when data in the base table is shared with multiple consumer accounts and specific roles in the table are shared with specific accounts. For the consumer account, a database based on the share must be created using the account admin role. Note that the consumer account can query shared objects in the same query that they query their own objects. And while a consumer account cannot create a clone, they can copy the shared data into a table. However, they cannot edit the comments for a shared database and there is no time travel for a consumer's shared database. And reader accounts are Snowflake accounts created and managed by the data providers on behalf of their consumers. Reader accounts are created for companies that do not yet have a Snowflake account. You'll find more topic videos on YouTube and be sure to reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn and let me know if you have any questions or if I can help you on your Snowflake certification journey. Thanks so much.